Hello, hello. My name is Andre Bankston. I appreciate you coming out. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Boogeyman, the Lee Atwater story. So this entire documentary that we watched is about interpretive methods. Interpretive methods is about how a group of people or an individual is able to construct someone else or an idea into something that it not it isn't necessarily, right? So Lee Atwater was the king of this. He was able to construct so many different narratives that weren't necessarily true about his political uh, opponents, right? Specifically, if we look at the Dukakis case, he was able to construct him as someone who is unpatriotic, who is upper class and disconnected from the American people. One case of this was when uh, Dukakis had to veto a bill which was unconstitutional. However, this bill was regarding uh, saying the Pledge of Allegiance in class. The bill wanted to punish people who didn't say it. Obviously, it was unconstitutional. Dukakis had to veto it. But Lee Atwater saw an opportunity. He wanted to use this as an opportunity to, to attack Dukakis and question his judgment. And he had George H.W. Bush come out and say, hey, I'm not questioning his judgment. I'm quite... Excuse me. I'm not questioning his patriotism. I'm questioning his judgment. Obviously, it planted the seed that maybe Mike Dukakis isn't as patriotic as he he says he is, right? Regardless of it being true or not, it ended up working. And that's why this is so important. Mike Dukakis ended up losing the race against George H.W. Bush. And you know what? Lee Atwater was able to get George Bush and to get Ray, get all these different politicians into office because he was able to construct a narrative and use interpretive methods that hurt the, his political opponents. You know what? We, we see this in politics today. We see Donald Trump, at least in the last election, come out and say, oh, Sleepy Joe, he's so old, he can't do anything, right? He can barely open his eyes. It, regardless if it works or not, it's using interpretive methods to try to construct a narrative that benefits your team or your cause, right? So it's important for us to understand this, and if we want to use interpretive methods to our own advantage, right, we need to ensure that we have a charisma and an ability to tell stories such as Lee Atwater was able to do. And hopefully, uh, you know what, we can get what we want, because that's what it's all about in life, getting what you want. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming out.